Scientists are calling for a national program of action against a fungal disease that's spreading like wildfire through Australia's forests. They're concerned myrtle rust could lead to the extinction of key plant and animal species. Cathy McLeish reports on the national high-tech study. Researchers around the country are mounting a rearguard action against an invader that's sweeping the nation. We're bringing together many different streams, data science, uh, flying robots, to try and uh, come up to, with the answer to a complex question. Myrtle rust appeared in Australia in 2010. And since then, I think we've been scrambling to understand a little bit more about it and the, the risks that it imposes. This can, uh, will threaten some of our native iconic species and there is the strong possibility that some of those species will go extinct. The South American fungus infects plants in the Metaceae family, such as eucalypts, tea trees and lily pillies. Since it was found in northern New South Wales, its yellow spores have spread the disease to Victoria, Tasmania, Queensland and the Northern Territory. Now it's moving inland. We really didn't understand just how rapidly it was going to expand. Dr Grant Hamilton is heading a study aimed at working out which animals are also likely to suffer. Myrtle rust does impact really quite heavily on the fruits, flowers and the new shoots. And that's the food uh, that many species depend on. The researchers have recorded the sound of local wildlife for six hours a day at 11 sites between Ballina in northern New South Wales and Caloundra in Queensland. At the same time, they've recorded the extent of myrtle rust using handheld cameras and drones. Now they're comparing animal activity in each area with the presence of the fungus and that will tell them if there's an impact. We were talking about two years worth of um, acoustic data. The researchers believe flying foxes, lorikeets and honey eaters are some of the species that could be at risk and say their loss could have devastating flow-on effects. Scientists say a coordinated attack is needed. The national body set up to help safeguard Australian industries from invasive plant pests and diseases says more money is needed to bring together important research projects. This is a national issue. We need to come together to work out how do we protect our environment. He says while strong research is being undertaken, lone battles won't win the war. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.